Right then lads, what's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video and another objectives guide. So EA have released a shapeshifters Fabian Kintonze. Hopefully I am pronouncing that. It might even be pronounced Sintonze. I am honestly not too sure, so we'll just call him Fabian. But boys, honestly, this looks like a relatively easy objective. Not going to say short because it looks like it's going to be another game where it's going to be eight games in squad battles, but it does also have a summer swap token in there. As well, what we're doing is we are making a new summer swaps playlist. If you click on my YouTube and go to playlist if you're on mobile or if you are on desktop and you want to go to my home screen, scroll down a little bit and it will be one of the top ones or it will be the top linked playlist um, or it will be on like my, my channel page if you will um basically all of the objectives ea released that involve a summer swap token or any summer swap related videos then they will all be added to that playlist so once this objective you know has a summer swap token with it that will be added to the playlist just to keep track of and if you guys do want to come back to the channel etc but anyways without further ado let's get started dynamic defender you've got assist use using a defender and score using a ford in three separate squad battle matches on at least semi pro difficulty now this one it doesn't clarify if he assists from a defender so if you have to assist with a defender then a forward has to score it from that defender's assist or it doesn't clarify if you can assist with a defender to say a midfielder but then get a goal with a forward later on in the match that is from a different player that was assisted from a different player they don't clarify that you just have to go as a guessing game this is actually a very rare objective from EA they usually do not use this one especially in squad battles but if you're trying to assist with a defender here is an in-game example so as, as you can see in the example we are going to switch over our right back up to right wing and our left back up to left wing in game and then we are going to unpause obviously it just means assisting from a right wing position is obviously going to be a whole lot easier than assisting from a right back and it does still count as an assist for a defender so basically that clip just summed it up pause straight away and move your your right back and left back up in game so they can get in some better positions to try and get that assist to be safe you might want to assist and then go ahead and score from that assist with a forward as i did say but they once again did not clarify score four outside of the box goals no particular way around this one you just want to keep trying and trying until you do get it i do think for these shots depending on the angle whether it's a finesse shot or it is just a normal powered up shot i'll try and time it if you have the if you have a bar on i'll try time it around orange to red so like not red and so you know how it goes green i think yellow orange red when you're doing the the shot power bar I think around greenish to orange is a hot spot. When it comes to outside the box goals, there's not necessarily a certain way you have to do it, whether it be a finesse shot or just a powered up shot. My main tip for this one is just to keep trying, keep playing the poor teams in squad battles so you've got a higher chance. Try find a squad battles game or a squad battles team where they've got a really short or poor goalie and as you can see those outside the box goals did count. Assist a goal with a cross in five separate squad battles. To perform a cross, you just have to press square on the PlayStation or X on the Xbox. Now, I do want to say as well, it's just a matter of keep trying and trying, and make sure you score with your first touch, whether it's a volley or a header. And win eight matches in squad battles with at least 11 League on players. So it looks like all of these can be done. Are all of these done on professional difficulty? You've got no world class one. No, we don't have any world class one, which is quite nice. So you can get this done on professional, which is relatively beatable. But we're going to go ahead and build you guys a squad that you can use. And then we are going to go ahead and give you guys some tips and tricks and also a little bit of a squad battles life hack. Now this is the squad builder I have come up with and built. Now heads up before we go further with this, this is going to cost you no more than 30,000 coins. And the whole point of this squad builder is for those of you, whether you are on a new road to glory or something, you can copy this squad and use. Because I know not everybody has an insane league on team or some insane league on players. Obviously if you've got some good league on players on you, you'd want to use them. I can use my Marquinhos, Atau, Lafont, Nunez, Saliba, Guendouzi and Fabregas if I wanted to. So make sure to search your club for your league on players but if not this is a nice cheap meter team that you can use left mid we have gone for jonathan bamber we are playing the 4-3-3 formation which is quite important which we'll get into shortly but we've got bamber at left mid bakambu at striker you do need to score with crosses or assist with crosses so it is nice to have a relatively big man up front 
84 jumping, some okay heading, but he is 6 foot as well. Right wing is Jeremy Doku, a midfield free of Hussein Alwa, Renato Sanchez and Golovin. Left back is Joan Burnett. There is no gold rear league good left backs except for Kamada, but he's now at Watford, meaning his car card is very expensive. Kimpembe and Denea, we all know how ratty these two are, especially Kimpembe. Right back, we've gone for Yusuf Atal and Ednet, we have gone for Lopez. Now, as I said, you will want to make a pause straight away and move your full backs up to left wing and right wing in game to make the assist a whole lot easier. I do think Atal is going to be very good in the right wing position. Burnett, not so much. So if you want, you could keep Bamba there and then just switch um, Atal and Doku around and make Atal your main man. You want to try assist with Atal and then score with Bakambu. You could also, you know, do two birds with one stone and assist with a cross with Atal and score with Bakambu. That is progress towards three out of the four objectives done. Now let's head in to the tips. Tip number one, you just need a starting 11 of League 1 players. You can have any subs that you want. So make sure to sub on your very best players. You're allowed up to three players or three substitutions a game. Obviously you can have seven subs, but you can only use three of them. So I'll, I'll put my seven subs on the bench. Personally, if I had to choose out of these, I think my centre backs were okay, were good enough. Um, I'll probably sub on my Timo Werner at striker, maybe Modric and Nkunku in the midfield because our midfield is relatively weak. So I'd make your free subs, and obviously those free players can most definitely be game changers for you. Now, lads, tip number two. If we head on over to the Footman View with this very nice transition here. Now, tip number two, it is going to be chemistry styles. Now, we're going to use, obviously, handy old Footman for this one. I'm not sponsored by these guys, simply just using them as an example. But if you search Jeremy Doku, for example, um, actually, no, you know what? We're not going to use Doku as an example. We're going to use Bakambu, because I was thinking about him earlier and you need to try and score from across with him and his heading is only 74 so I think you'll get a chem style that can try and improve that heading but obviously if you haven't guessed it tip number two is going to be chemistry styles basically the beauty of footbin you can try out new chem styles and see what it improves in game and also see what rating he'll perform like in game for example he's going to have a basic when you buy him assuming you buy a card that doesn't have a chem style already applied but with a basic and assuming he's on full chem and your squad is on full chem he's going to have 93 pay 81 shooting, 81 passing, get some plus fives and plus plus threes, and as you can see, he'll be an 83 rated in game. Now, the beauty of Footbin, we're going to mess around with some with, with some chemistry styles and see which suits him best. There's no crazily good attacking chemistry styles that actually give him a you know what a gladiator does give him a heading boost, so you could go for a gladiator, and it does give him that makes him a uh, 84 rated striker, which gives him a plus one compared to what he's usually rated with a basic. Um, I do think that heading boost with the Gladiator is nice, but at the same time, I'd still prioritize like a Marksman, a finisher makes, makes him an 85. Can we be 85 rated? I don't think we can. Sniper? Sniper's only an 82. So it looks like a Marksman or a finisher is the way to go. If I have a, like, a deeper look into them, I do think probably you'll want to go for a Marksman because it gives them a jumping boost. Yeah, I think Marksman's the way to go. It'll cost you 250 coins. And instead of playing like an 83 rated, he usually would with a basic. He'll perform like an 85 rated. His heading isn't crazy, but he's 6 foot with 94 jumping. Therefore, assisting with a cross to Bakambu as your target man will not be too bad. And that goes for your whole team as well. You can chuck some, some uh, chemistry styles on your defenders. Don't go and buy Shadows and Hunters because they do get a little bit pricey. But even if you've just got some Sentinels or even more Gladiators for the midfielders, something like that that you can just throw on your players to give them that little boost in game. And the third, final, and probably the most important tip, with squad battles, obviously you need to get the games done on professional difficulty. Now, Squad Battles gives you four games every single refresh, usually two relatively tough ones and usually two very average ones. As you can see, I've already done this set. You can refresh by pressing square on the PlayStation or X on the Xbox. You'll have that refresh option every single day or after you play a game from each section. So, like, I can, I'm not going to have the option to refresh again, as you can see, but as soon as I play a match, I'll be able to refresh straight after that. Now, as you can see, I've given us a 184, a 92 rated squad, an 80 rated with only 44 chemistry. Remember, this only has to be on professional as well. And I would say this is a relatively beatable side on professional. Have they given us one here as well? Another one that's okay rating with poor chem. This is probably one you'd want to play though because he has got bronze players. So you'd go here to choose that on professional. And basically, you'd play these two shitty ones or with really poor chem. After that, after you finish that game, you can refresh and then you'll get more 
and just keep playing the poor team every single time because obviously beating a team with bronze players at center mid is going to be a whole lot easier than beating a 90 rated team and it is on professional but i know a few of you guys will struggle on professional so it's just a little bit of a heads up keep refreshing and playing those poor teams we're going to re remove my webcam for this, but as you can see, it says 28 out of 40 matches played. If you do go over that 40 game limit, do not worry. It does not affect your objectives. It just means the points you get for winning a game will not count after you go over that 40 game limit, meaning it will not count towards your overall squad battles rank. But if you do not care about your squad battles rank, then there'll be no worries whatsoever, and you can just keep refreshing. It will still count towards objectives. So finally, at least give a recap. Assist using defenders and score using a forward in three separate matches. It doesn't clarify if you have to assist from a defender then score that with a forward or if you assist with a defender and then like score separately with a forward later on at a later point from a different person that's assisted. I'll try this off, check my pin, try this out, sorry, check my pinned comment and I will let you guys know which one it is. Obviously it takes a few games to test out or a couple games to test out to be exact. So obviously I'll test that out. Um, off stream or off video sorry so check my pinned comment and i'll let you guys know about that one ea have done really poor clearing that up score four outside of the box goals no necessary way to get it done just got to keep trying assist a goal with a cross once again self-explanatory um make sure it's on the first touch as well win eight matches once again very self-explanatory remember chemistry styles get your best league on players in your team and make sure to keep refreshing squad battles and playing those poor teams with five foot seven strikers in net hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like and subscribe if this helped you out as well we are on a push for 14,000 subscribers it's been your boy davis and i'll see you lads next time peace out boys